Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from eGetsa. Following up on my unboxing and review video for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I've come up with an Antutu benchmark test and I'm going to be doing the wildlife stress test from GDMark to show whether the phone throttles or dials down the performance when it gets hot, similar to what I did on the S21 Ultra. So let's get these benchmark tests started guys. So on screen, I'm showing the first Antutu benchmark test I did on this phone. It's not where I'm expecting it to be, so I'm going to be running another test before I go ahead and do the wildlife stress test. So let's test again. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Alright, so the test is done. Still a bit low, 564,948. So the iOS version of Antutu doesn't actually show the temperatures of the phone. So I don't know if this is due to temps, which is why it's actually getting a low score. But let's see if running the wildlife benchmark stress test will show whether the phone throttles or not.
guys, so here's the score. The best loop score that we got is 8,544. Lowest loop score is 5,035 with stability of 58.9%. And so it starts off very high, drops down at the second test, drops down some more in the third test, and pretty much downward trend. And just touching the phone at the back here, it, it is pretty warm. It's uncomfortable to the touch and if you use the phone long term like this, it doesn't feel too good guys. In terms of the battery, it went down about 9% from 61%, it went down to 52% and for the frame rate, maximum was 60 because this is a 60Hz display, minimum was 17. Now let me show you real quick here guys. Now if we compare that with the Black Shark 3 Pro, stability is 99.7% so there's no throttling happening at all on this phone. Though the best loop score is only maxing out at 3796. So it's a far cry from the best loop score that you've got on the iPhone 12 Pro Max with 8,544. And even though it dialed down the performance, that 5,000 lowest loop score is still a lot higher than the best loop score on the Black Shark 3 Pro. Now, if we compare that with S21 Ultra over here, again, there's no competition here. Your best loop score is 5,220. But one thing here that you don't see is the temperature. So here on the Android side of things, you can see the temperature reading, it maxes out at 44 degrees. So stability wise, you're going to be seeing a more consistent frame rate on the S21 Ultra compared with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So you're going to be seeing higher frames per second on this phone. So those are the scores I'm getting on the stress test for the iPhone 12 Pro Max with the A14 Bionic chip. Stay tuned to the channel guys and I'll be doing a more in-depth gaming test and see how well the iPhone 12 Pro Max performs in demanding games like Genshin Impact. So with that said, let's end this quick video here guys. As usual, like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification, and see you all in my next one.